Hi everybody, this is Susie. Um, I wanted to show you two things. Um, I've been making quite a bit of pens over time, especially the last month, making pens reflecting the wild orchid craft flowers. And um, I have received my new design team package yesterday, and um, I wanted to share with you some of the beautiful um, neutral brown colored flowers that are my favorite with wild orchid crafts. So, in combination, I decided to make a fabulous pen using wild orchid crafts, flowers, lace, and shooting pearls and seam binding. I used my absolute most favorite color and favorite flowers that Wild Orchid Crafts carries. Um, I have to say I totally, totally adore their flowers. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on the design team. I just love them. They are so easy to work with. They're very sturdy and well made and absolutely gorgeous. Whoever sees them um, just can't believe how gorgeous they are. So let me just share with you quickly um, and show you what I use. Um, I just want to get this so that I can let you know in case you would like to purchase it, which, as you all know, whenever I do my videos, I'm never ready. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, the base, oops, sorry, the base of this pen, I'm actually um, doing this on the top of a, a craft box. The base of this pen, I'm using something called uh, floral stem wrap tape. I purchased this at Michael's, and the color is not white, it's more of a cream color, and I like that instead of the green, because I'm using um, this uh, vintage lace, which um, was a gift to me last year, um, not necessarily a gift, but uh, the people where I buy my lace from at my local fabric store, this was in a huge knot. And when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, I'd love to buy it. And she said, you know what? Take it all, and if you can get the knots out, you know, you don't have to pay me. So she gave it to me, and I did take the knots out. So anyway, I wrapped that beautiful vintage-inspired lace around the pen on top of the floral tape which protected the pen because I used hot glue and what happens is if you use too much hot glue the glue will melt through the plastic and melt through the ink and you will have a mess that you do not want to have trust me so putting the tape on with a tiny dab of glue at the bottom and some at the top will protect the pen and then when you use the lace around the tape your pen is totally protected from the hot glue bleeding through the plastic and through the ink tube on the inside. So we have the lace wrapped around the pen all the way up to the top where I had attached a um, this beautiful, uh, I'm just going to show it to you, uh, this beautiful feathered trim that you can purchase. Um, in your local fabric store or, or I guess craft store that's where I got it and um, and inside the wrapped feathers I put the shooting pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts and around that I wrapped lace from Wild Orchid Crafts which is I think the Gunther lace I don't know if I pronounced it properly in white and I wrapped that around and I added some pearls <clears throat> from my stash that are, let me see if you give me the size here. No, they don't give me the size, but they are jewelry essential crafting beads. Oh yes, four millimeter uh, pearl beads. And those were like 1100 beads for something like two or three ninety nine. At, um, I think I got that at Joanne's craft store. And I had adhered those also to the, to the lace. Um, and just so that you know, that was on top of the feather, nowhere near the pen itself, so I, I wasn't afraid of anything like the hot glue bleeding through. And then around the bottom of that, I wrapped just a little piece of Susie's Blings, which is my rhinestone trim. 
And um, I, around that, I wrapped a piece of beautiful vintage seam binding from Wild Wilco Crafts, tied it in a bow. And I wasn't afraid to use the glue now because I have the ribbon and I have the bling and I have the tape and I also have the lace trim going around the pen. And using my most favorite flowers from Wild Wilco Crafts, um, I try to really pick the ones that are my most favorite, favorite, favorite that I love. Uh, these two-tone chocolate roses and the gorgeous color range of open roses and the beautiful curly roses and the really small ones in there and that chocolate brown. And I don't know if you can see those, but way, way, way in there uh, is those tiny, tiny little, little rosebuds. So, um, and yes, um, once I had finished that, I just took a few little pearls and scattered them around the pen. It's very, very elegant, and what I like about it the most, and I'm just going to bring you over to my workspace, so don't mind it because it is completely, completely sloppy, but I really don't care because a messy desk is a busy crafter's desk. So hold on, I'm, I'm recording, honey. Sorry, hubby's interrupting. Yeah? Okay, I'm, I'm recording. Sorry. Anyway, what I like most about this pen is that it is actually usable. Um, as you can see, if I was going to be writing a letter or signing a check or writing a message to somebody, I can simply use this with the utmost comfort because I'm using a paper mate pen, you can use a big pen, um, or any kind of pen that would be thin. Um, you can also use uh, some of, um, a marker of some kind if you like, or, or perhaps um, a Sharpie. Uh, I have quite a bit of, oh goodness, if you saw my, my turnstile with my pens and pencils, you would laugh. Uh, and um, you can use any one of those and, uh, you know, wrap the tape around it to protect it from melting from the hot glue and also wrapping some kind of, it doesn't have to be this lace, it could be any kind of lace or perhaps if you have some kind of like um, a ribbon lace like that that's very narrow, like an eighth of an inch wide, um, you may be able to use that as well. Um, or even the seam binding if you have it in like a solid color like white, uh, depending on the lace you're using. Now if you're using black lace or brown lace, you can simply use the green uh, floral tape because you won't see that once you go around it once or twice. But I didn't want the black to peep through. And um, in all honesty, I don't know what I did with it here. Oh, my desk is horrible. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> um, the, the cover to this pen, I, I kind of screwed it up a little bit. Maybe it dropped on the floor. No. Um, the cover of this pen, I, I, I cut the tip off like I did on my other pens. Um, uh, and, and I'm not using it because I went so far down to the very tip that if I push the pen on, I'm actually going to be moving the bottom of the lace and I really don't want to do that because um, what I'll be most likely, you know, how I'll be most likely having my pen, not in this bucket of glue sticks, but I'll, you know, I'll have it like, you know, just like that sticking up out of a, a, a holder that I have uh, with some pens and pencils in it. Um, and, you know, I'll know that, oh, this is my pen, okay? And I, there's, I have um, a family wedding to go to, and um, I, I was asked to do uh, a couple of things for the bride. So um, I might make one like this, um, doing all of the cream flowers or white flowers, um, possibly uh, plume feathers. Um, I, I really don't know yet. I still have plenty of time. This will be like um, for the uh, signing the guest book. So. Um, and, you know, they know that I'm really crafty, so I just wanted to share this with you, and I hope that you like it. It came out really, really, really pretty. I love it, and I love the feathers, and I hope that you enjoy seeing it, and try one. And, um, if you found inspiration here, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching, 
And if you'd like to see these flowers and more, you can go to wildorchocrafts.com. And my blog is suzycrafter10.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.